these times. Without Funky Uncle's help, I would not be able to have put the work into my horns and, and have them back into good working condition. You know? Everybody go to thefunkyuncle.live and see if you can get a little help. If you know a musician or a gig worker in need of assistance, it's so easy. All you have to do is go to thefunkyuncle.live and click on that donate button. Help make a difference in the lives of those that make such a big difference in ours. Fridays from the Funky Uncle interviews, Tyson Van Landingham. Second sticks. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna go hoodie. You're going hoodie on me? We'll go hoodie. Okay. Why, does it look good? You don't you like the hoodie? You look like an Ewok. What? I look like an Ewok? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Because of the gray hair. Sure, we put on a lot of really great concerts here, live from the Funky Uncle on Friday nights. But what's it really all about? Love. Appreciation, you know. Just um, trying to give back anymore. Being able to actually come in here and see a great band and get to interview them, that just did so much for my soul. Really good music. Not yet. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Howlin' Wolf, presented by the Funky Uncle Dot Live. My name is Soul Stu, and we've got once again another fantastic show coming to you straight from the heart of the Crescent City. The legendary Kermit Ruffins is with us this evening, and it's sure to be quite a memorable night. And of course, we're doing it all for a great cause, as we have been for oh god. 85, six weeks now? Six, I think we're at six now. Yep. Yeah, we've six, yep. We've had some great shows. And we've helped a lot of musicians and gig workers along the way. Couldn't ask for anything more than that. We appreciate all the support we've had so far. And hey, come on down and join us. We got tickets at the door. Come cut a rug. Leslie and I might even let you buy us a drink. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> we're having a good time. How are you feeling tonight, Leslie? I'm good. I'm good. It has been... Uh, it's been a crazy couple of beautiful weather days, yes, and uh, I can't think of anything I would rather do than to be here. Look where we're at. We're on the rail Riding tonight, the rail. baby. We are right back on the rail. We've been saying we're going to bring the music to you until you can come to us. Guess what? That can happen now. That's one of the ways that you can support The Funky Uncle. Another way is to go to our website, thefunkyuncle.live, click on that Donate button, Click on the bid on the Frenchie painting. We'll talk about Frenchie and his paintings a little bit more in, in a little bit. Uh, you can become a sponsor, or you can text FUNK to 36413. I'm going to ask all these people behind me, lift up your phones, pull your phones out, turn the volume off, and then text FUNK to 36413. See what happens. You can become a one-time donor. You can become a recurring donor. Either way, that makes you part of the Funky family. You can go to the Funky shop, check out the hats, the shirts, the cups, the socks. We have got all kind of stuff on the Funky shop, and that's another way to support. There's so many ways that you can support. What are you supporting? You're supporting musicians and gig workers. Since COVID began, we said, what, 86 weeks, I think? It was April of 2020. Uh, we decided that, you know, our musicians were struggling, but for every band that was out of work, there was a sound engineer, a lighting tech, a video tech. All these people were out of work as well, and they are just as important. So check those out. I'll tell you later again some other ways to help us, but I'm ready to hear some music. How All about you, right, Stu? let's get down to the music. This musician coming up, though I already introduced him once, he doesn't really need an introduction. We all know him. Legendary. We all love him. He bleeds back black and gold. You've tasted his barbecue. You've danced to his songs. But now, please give it up for the great Kermit Ruffins. And don't forget to wash your hands and stomp your Yo. feet. Yo, truly Kermit Ruffins. And all the musicians and gig workers, yours truly. Here we go. All aboard.
the pale moon shining on the fields below and folks are crooning songs soft and low you need tell me girl because I know yes when it's sleepy time down south the south winds blowing through the pinewood trees and folks down here live a life of ease when that twilight Brings that evening breeze. La -di -da -da -da. When it's sleepy time down south. Yes, steamboats up the river are coming and going, splashing the night away. By the river, hear those banjos. Singing and the folks are swinging and they dance unto the break of day. La -di -a. dear old Southland with his dreamy song. You take me back there where I belong. Right in New Orleans zones. Yacht is up, deep bubble, deep be bubble, do say. Deeply up, bop, ba ba ba. Whoa. Good evening, everybody. your coat and get your hat yes leave your worries on the doorstep life can be so sweet on the side of the street that's sunny can't you hear a bit of that it's that happy tune in your step just direct your feet to the side of the street that's sunny I used to walk in the shade with those blues on parade and honey I'm not afraid of this road we cross over and if I ever ever get another cent I'll be rich as trombone shorty with gold dust at my feet on the side of the street that's sunny.
grabbing up your hats, coats, boots, and everything. We're going bye-bye, leave your worries on the doorstep. Life can be so sweet on the sunny side of the street. Can't you hear the pitter and the patter of the raindrops drizzling down the fire escape ladder? Life can be so fine. Mine is Thunderbird wine. I used to walk in the shed with those blues on parade. Girl, I'm not afraid of this rover. Casanova, if I ever get another cent, I'll be rich as Rocky Fella with gold dust at my feet on the sunny. Yeah, I'm talking about the sunny side. The sunny, sunny side. Sunny side of the street. Mr. Yosha Takazi, too, on piano. Thank you, music lovers. Thank you. Thank you. We're live at the Funky Uncle. It's a good name for a new bar. Thank you all for having us. And um, please help and donate much as you possibly can. If you're tuning in from all over the world, we're live at the Howlin' Wolf. And thank you all for tuning in. God bless all aboard. Here's a sweet tune. It is only a paper moon sailing over a cardboard sea. And it wouldn't be make believe if you believed in me, pretty baby. It is only a canvas sky sailing over a muslin tree. And it wouldn't be make believe if you believed in me. And without your love, it's a honky tonk. Without your love, pretty baby, it's a melody played, peony arcade. It's a bottom and barely world, phony as it can be. And it wouldn't be make believe if you believed in me.
come along with me down in history we'll be floating to the moon we won't come back until our fuel runs out we'll keep floating into space let's make haste don't hesitate we're going to be the first to get there Everybody's talking, countries is squawking about the latest rockets. Won't you come and fly with me? We will go as any high as anyone can be. I bet there's nothing there but an awful lot of space in air. Won't you please fly with me? We're going to the moon and we count down 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 9, 3, 2, 1. Now here we go. Are you ready? I hope your nerves are steady. A harmony, 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 sound of the rocket ship going to the moon. We're not coming back for a thousand years. Well, all right. I say goodbye, world. We're cutting out. We won't swing out. We'll be floating to the moon. And we hope that you can get there soon. Thank you. We'll be back. All right, all right. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, yes, give it up for the great <laughs> Kermit Ruffins. Yeah, that's right. Throwing it down here at the Howl and Wolf with all of us here from the Funky Uncle Live. What a great night of music. And, you know, we've seen him with the barbecue swingers, which is <laughs> always a lot of fun. But seeing him just strip down, just the <laughs> piano, the trumpet, it's great. It's such a different side of him that uh, I'm really digging. And we hope you are, too, wherever you may be. Now, we've got a great studio audience here with us tonight. And you know what? Come on down. Join the party. we got tickets at the door. Come on and dance with us. Like I said, you can even buy Leslie and I a drink. Kermit might even let you buy him a Bud Light. We'll just take it from there. So <laughs> come on down and join us. And in the meantime, my dear... Dear brother, Mr. Frenchie is working on a brand new original painting of tonight. He's got Kermit in and he's got his lines coming together now. By the end of the night, it'll be all filled up with the colors and it'll be another beautiful original piece. And that can be yours. We also have some other Frenchie paintings. We've got one from Guitar Slim Jr., a great painting from a fantastic show. We've got our Halloween show with the Green Demons. And then we've also got Kevin and the Blues Groover. So check out those paintings. Put it on the wall and you'll hear the music dancing off the camera. And of course, you'll be doing it for a good cause, helping out the funky uncle, right, Leslie? Oh, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. You know it is. Um, gosh, I can't begin to thank everybody that has donated over the last 86 weeks. But to see a, a packed house here tonight, not only to see and enjoy and listen to great music, but to support the funky uncle. How many of you here... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask just for a, a show of hands. How many of you here had heard about the Funky Uncle before you came here tonight? Okay, Ooh. that is not nearly enough. When you go home tonight, you need to send at least four text messages to friends. Or while you're sitting here, invite your friends, invite your neighbors, invite your family. Come on because down. the Funky Uncle has done this for the last 86 weeks, that's why... Our music community is still standing. It's one of the reasons. That is one of the reasons why it's still standing. We're going to be here each and every week, with the exception of next week. <laughs> Sorry, it is a uh, it is uh, the ho uh, the the holiday, so we are going to be doing a very very intimate night with Walter Wolfman Washington next week. There's only twenty seats available you will get uh if you sign up for our mailing list we will let you know when that is going to go down all right so go to our website funkyuncle.live and click on that donate button buy one of these paintings if you go back and you look at all the other paintings that we've done there's a print of each and every one of those that you can buy in the meantime, Stu and I are going to hang out on the rail. We're going to go on the other side of the rail right so we can watch rail. Kermit, yeah. all right? 
In the meantime, get, stir up that pot of red beans, crack you open a Bud Light, spark up some of that good good, and get ready for some more Kermit Ruffins, y'all. And don't Ooh. forget to wash your hands and stomp your feet. Yeah. I've got the world on a string. I'm smoking on a rainbow. I've got that string around my finger. What a world. What a life. I'm in love. I've got a song that I'd sing. And I can make the rain go anytime I move my finger. Oh, oh, oh. Lucky me, can't you see that I'm in love? Life's a beautiful thing As long as I hold the string I'd be a silly so-and-so If I should ever let it go ba -ba -bo -de 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 -de. I've got a song that I'd sing And I can make the rain go Anytime I move my finger Lucky me, can't you see? I'm in love and I've got the world on a string Sitting on a rainbow string Around my finger What a world, what a life I'm in love I've got a song that I'd sing I can make the rain go anytime I move my finger Look at me, 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 look at me I'm in love Skilly bop bo dee Life's a beautiful thing As long as I hold the string I'd be a silly so-and-so If I should ever let it go ba ba bo dee 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 I've got a song that I sway <laughs> I can make the rain go Anytime I move my finger Look at me, 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 look at me. The beep will be Jazz. Life's a beautiful thing, yeah, see, as long as I hold the string, I'd be a silly so-and-so if I should ever let it go. Ba -ba -bo -de 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 -de. I've got a song that I'd sing, I can make the rain go. Anytime I move my finger, what a world, what a life. I've got no trouble with strings or stripes, and I'm in love. I've got the world on a string. Bobble dee dee, bobble dee dee, bobble wee ah yeah. Oh, from my first solo CD, World on a String, on Justice Records in 1950. I mean, let's see. Not gonna remember the year, but uh, anyway, it's a while back. <laughs> I'm getting up there. Yours truly, Kermit Ruffins, born in 1964. I think I'm making 
57 this year in December. I'm getting up there. I'm 64, baby. And my stomach is catching up with me. And are you ready for the greatest show of your life? Well, keep waiting because it ain't going to happen tonight. <laughs> One of my favorites, Trombone Shorty, told me that joke. <laughs> Give me a little highs in the monitor, just a little highs in my vocals in the monitor. You know, I quit smoking weed. But I did it tonight for you guys. <laughs> Didn't want to disappoint you. Let's see, I have another joke here. Let's see. My wife left me for the reefer man. I sure miss him. <laughs> all right, that's all my jokes for the night. That was nice. I am so stoned. <laughs> all right, then. Cheers, y'all. Cheers to New Orleans. Have you ever been 
to New Orleans. It's the hottest city that you've ever seen. You gotta love them red beans. You gotta love them butter beans. Way down south in New Orleans. And if you're not from New Orleans, let me hear you scream. I hope you're feeling better now, like my own boys do. When you're feeling down and out, and you feel there's no way out, you get dropped off in New Orleans. Drop me off in New Orleans. Drop me off in New Orleans. Orleans, I bobble dee bobble beat up, bobble dee dee bobble dee 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 don't remember. <laughs> Don't freaking remember, I tell you. <laughs> I'm so stoned. <laughs> okay, now we, we good. Everything's everybody's good. All right. <laughs> Back to the music, y'all. Thank you one more time. It's a Yoshitaka Z2 on piano. Yours truly, trombone. I mean, yours truly, Kermit Ruffins. It never stops, I tell you. I can't turn it off. <laughs> You've got to give a little, take a little, let your poor hearts break a little. That's the story of, that's the glory of love. You've got to laugh a little, cry a little, before the clouds roll by a little. That's the story of, that's the glory of love. As long as there's the three of us, I mean two of us, we'd have the world in all its charms. And when the world is through with us, we'd have each other's arms. You've got to win a little. Lose a little, always have the blues a little. That's the story of, that's the glory of love.
And you got to win a little, lose a little, always have the blues a little. That's the story of, that's the glory of love. Oh, yes, yes. That's the story of, that's the glory of L O V E. And that's the beloved. Yes, indeed. <laughs> all right, all right, y'all. Give it up for the great Kermit Ruffins. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Throwing it down here at the Howlin' Wolf with all of us from the Funky Uncle Live. So great to have this wonderful studio audience in here. You know, we've been doing this for over a year now, and uh, it's so great to hear the clap of a crowd. There's and people. See I see people. smiling faces, <laughs> everyone hanging out and dancing and taking in the music and, uh, and you know, all that good stuff. And of course, this stripped down, just Kermit and the piano. It's such a great uh, such a great way to hear his songs come to life. The only way it could be better is if he brought me a pot of gumbo with him. Kermit, you didn't bring me no gumbo, bro? <laughs> I, don't, I don't smell any smoke. Smell you are not Next barbecuing. Time. <laughs> Next time. Thought you were barbecuing. Absolutely. I don't smell no Smoke. And of course we're not doing yet. not yet. <laughs> yeah, not yet. Of not not barbecue smoke, anyways. <laughs> we're doing this all for a good cause. And my dear friend Frenchie is here painting the whole show tonight. He's gonna have another one-of-a-kind original that can be yours. And you know what? If there's been some shows that you saw at the Funky Uncle and you got to peep the Frenchie painting and say, oh man, that looks good. I just can't get, you know, the full painting right now. Well, you can just go on our shop over at thefunkyuncle.live and you can bid on the prints. They're printed on canvas. They are beautiful. You can just hear the music just dancing off of them while you, uh, you know, look at them up on the wall there. So those can be yours. And you can also join the Funky Uncle family. You can be a Funky cousin, Leslie will tell you some more about that. It is so easy, y'all. All you have to do is text FUNK to 36413. Y'all try it out in the audience, all right? You go get on your get on your phone and you text to 36413 FUNK. FUNK. And you text FUNK. And when that comes up, you're gonna see where you can make a one-time donation or you can make a recurring donation. And you can make a recurring donation for as little as a dollar a month. And, and we appreciate that. But if you re do a recurring donation for $13.13, 13, 13, it's good luck, I promise. It kind of negates itself, right? You know? Oh, yeah. And if you do that, then you're going to become a funky cousin. And we're all funky cousins. You know, we've all got that funky uncle. We're getting ready for oh, Thanksgiving. Yeah. I'm so excited. Which funky uncle is going to show up and do, you know, create mayhem this year? <laughs> I'm ready for it. But if you want to have your own funky uncle, text FUNK to 36413, $13.13. .13 become a funky cousin. You're gonna get a free piece of the apparel from our funky shop. You're gonna get a discount in the funky shop. You're gonna get a special email newsletter letting you know about special things like next week, the very limited intimate night with Walter Wolfman Washington and all of our other uh, events that are gonna go down. We have got so much planned for you it is not even funny there's another button on the website if you're on the website of funkyuncle.live and it is become a sponsor if you think that your business would benefit from getting your name out there on our screen forever and ever as a sponsor click on that button just like the folks over at Foberg private wealth I got to thank them. Big it has been them. We wouldn't be here without 30 them. weeks, I think, that they have been a sponsor. 30 weeks. It is incredible. We've also got a partnership. Wait, yeah, yeah. Put your hands together for Foberg Private. Yeah, Foberg. Yeah, yeah. Those folks have been amazing. And uh, they're here tonight. Some folks are here tonight from there. We'll get them to wave at us in a little bit. Our lim uh, we've got a partnership now, of course, here with the, fun with the Howling Wolf. We are so appreciative of that. But there's also another partnership with Where You At Magazine. They're going to let you know what we're doing all the time. And uh, I think we're supposed to tune in to the news tonight. I'll have to ask Christian about that. Uh, Fox 8 News is going to do a piece on us tonight nice. because they support what we're doing, and we want you to support what we're doing as well. Let's get what, – what are we doing? 
we're doing music. Yeah. Let's do it again. Speaking of which, we're going to do what we do best, which is let these fantastic musicians serenade you for the rest of the evening. So, with no further ado, let's show our love and appreciation for the great Kermit Ruffins, and don't forget to wash your hands and stomp your feet. All aboard! <laughs>
If I only had a brain. Thank you. Thank you, music lovers. We're live at Funky Uncle, raising money to help build the most beautiful musicians in the world, New Orleans musicians. I like to say that. And some of the best in the world, New Orleans musicians. I like to say that. And um, once again, thank you all for donating. Thank you all for tuning in worldwide. I'm quite sure people are listening from all over the world. And we want to um, welcome you all and act like you're right here with us. Just pretend, turn down your lights real low, get a glass of wine, do what you want to do, get a Bud Light. Well, okay, spot some Bud Light here. Get a beer, get a beater. <laughs> Thank you all so much, baby. Thank you, Frenchie, for making my stomach smaller on there. Really want to thank Frenchie for that. I asked him before he started, please put my stomach down a little bit, Frenchie. It's looking good, Frenchie. Thank you. I look much better, I tell you. All right. <laughs> it's really, it's really, it means it's actually, I look like I got abs. <laughs> yeah, give me a few abs in there, French A. All right. Hopefully I can, hopefully I can afford that because I'm gonna, I'm gonna be it real hard on that. <laughs> I'm really gonna be it real hard on that. I got a couple of thousand I can afford. That is nice, little Frenchie. Thank you, man. All right, back to the music, y'all, because I am so silly. I'll tell you, I'll ramble on all night long. <laughs> I'm really I'm really getting old. I, I didn't used to do this. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Check this one out. went down to St. James and Infirmary and I saw my baby there. She was stretched out on a long white table so cold so pale just laying there Let her go, 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 God bless her. If the devil don't catch her, yes, wherever she may be, whether she's upstairs or down below with the devil, she'll never find a lower night war trumpet player like me. When I die, Dress me in flip-flops, put my flip-flops on case I have to run from the devil. I want a box back coat and a Stetson hat and put a $50 gold piece on my watch chain so all the girls know I die standing pat in high.
Gallagher, 1964, the year I was born.
That's one happy crowd right there. Oh, I love to hear that sound of a, a joyous audience roaring in applause. And now hearing someone like Kermit Ruffins play a classic like St. James Infirmary, I'm telling you, it doesn't get much better than that. And of course, got to give a big shout out to Z2 over on the keys there. That piano is sounding amazing. And of course, to hear Kermit's trumpet echoing through the Howlin' Wolf. Oh, man, I'm telling you, what a beautiful night in New Orleans. We're so glad to have everyone who's tuning in and so, so glad to have all these friends. Right yes, indeed. Here. Oh, all good. I, I got it plugged in. Hey, you know, that's, you're a stagehand. Yeah, you know how to put that stage hand together. You're a stagehand. You can figure these things out. <laughs> Anyways, we're having such a wonderful night. We are so happy for all these people who came out and joined us, having so much fun with everyone. And, of course, you know, when, when Kermit, Kermit plays the party, you know it's going to be a good one, y'all. Yeah. So we're having a lot of fun now. Uh, Frenchie is over here. He's got Kermit's abs starting to come together on that painting. Kermit's. <laughs> Kermit's got uh, a six is pack. Six pack abs. Yeah, Kermit's got a couple six packs with him. That's for sure. It's not a keg. It's a six pack. Oh, anyway, it's a go? beautiful painting, and it can be yours. That's right, as well as all the other wonderful uh, Frenchy prints that we have printed on canvas on our Funky Shop over at thefunkyuncle.live. And of course, you can go uh, on thefunkyuncle.live and relive all these wonderful performances that we've been bringing to you. You can also pull out your phone, text, and donate to become part of the Funky Uncle family. Right, Leslie? That's right. You know, we've got some paintings that are still available. The yeah. Guitar Slim Jr., uh, great the Green Demons. Now, the Green Another Demons, green that painting is amazing. That was our Halloween celebration. Spooky. And that one is really, really beautiful. And then, of course, uh, two weeks ago, Kevin and the Blues Groovers. That one is still available as well. And I'm just saying I wasn't going to bring up Christmas until after Thanksgiving, but I'm sorry. I got to get my shopping done early. And if you want to do that, it's so easy. You can, uh, I can't, I, you know, if I'm on the really, really good, good list, not the naughty list, or maybe if I'm on the really, really naughty list, somebody will buy me a Frenchie, huh? What do you Ooh, think? That'd be quite All right. Surprising. So go to our funky shop. For that one, <laughs> yeah, yeah, go to our funky shop and, uh, and get shirts and hats and sweatshirts and, uh, caps, mugs, socks. We've got all that good stuff that you, that you want. There's so many ways that you can support. And even if it is just coming here and buying a ticket in the next few weeks, that is one of the best ways to do it. Because not only are you providing financial support and your donation for the Funky Uncle, you're giving a little bit of love back to these musicians who have not been able to hear that live applause. It's really hard to hear that applause through that little bitty uh, cell phone screen when they're doing their own live, you know, Facebook Live and that type of thing. So if you think about it, you know, plan your Wednesdays. It's Wednesdays. It's early, 7 to 9, 9.30 at the latest. You got plenty of time to get home and get in bed and get to work the next morning. I'll write a nu I'll write a letter for your boss. There you go. I'll write a work excuse. You want one? All right. How many people want a work excuse for tomorrow? And we'll just keep going. Yeah, I see some hands over there. So let's give them a reason to want a work excuse. Where did uh Where'd Kermit go? I don't see him. Is Kermit there? Kermit, you ready? Paging Mr. Ruffins. Paging, Paging Mr. Mr. Ruffins. Kermit Ruffins. All oh, boy, yeah. Well, trains, <laughs> uh, trains ready to pull out the station, bro. So once again, y'all, come on down to the Howlin' Wolf. Kermit's got a couple more for us, I believe. And uh, we'd love to see you here with this great party that we're uh, getting to host. And so grateful to our friends over the Howlin' Wolf for having us. And, of course, so uh, we got, everyone else. Hey, Kermit, will you give us a couple more? You give us two more? Yes, two yes. more? Yes, indeed. Who wants to hear two more? All aboard. All aboard, y'all. Let's let Kermit get back to what he does best. Y'all don't forget to wash your hands and stomp your feet. Showtime. Thank y'all for coming out, baby. Is there a piano player in the house somewhere? Where is he to? Uh, it's not far. I thought you had duct taped him to the, uh, to the piano. You didn't? He probably wanted a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have another piano player oh, in there? Oh, look. Oh, how nice. Ta-da. Ta-da. It's like magic. <laughs> 
Put your hands together for Z2. <laughs> Christmas, Charlie Brown. I think I'm going to go home and watch that tonight. The turkey just walked in the door. Use that on your friends for Thanksgiving, you know. Every time somebody walk in, just say that, just yell that real loud. You know, it's the best thing you can do to your friends and family. Yeah, very, very important. I saw Santa Claus swinging, swinging in the trimmy jack. I got a big wish for Santa, and it's not a new Cadillac. It's better than grandma's cooking, better than hot beignets. It's better than a lot of money, much bigger than Mardi Gras day. We don't need champagne, no caviar, don't need no ice cold beer. We don't need no big ass barbecue pit. Wait a minute, that's not true. I just had a rap with Santa and we took us a little stroll. I told him all I want for Christmas is the Saints in the Super Bowl.
I saw Santa Claus swinging, swinging in the Superdome. Come on and do the bits and boogie. Let's whip their ass and go home. It's Christmas in New Orleans, and the Saints is on the road. And all I want for Christmas is the Saints in the Super Bowl. We want to go back to the Super Bowl, the biggest Christmas present ever. Come on, coach, let's go to the Super Bowl. Who that wear that black and gold? It's Christmas in New Orleans, and the Saints is on the road. And all I want for Christmas is the Saints in the Super Bowl. Well, all right. That was, that was nice. Thank you, music lovers. Yours truly, Kermit Robbins in a barbecue. <laughs> he got it. Not barbecue swing, it's just two of us tonight. Thank y'all. Enjoy. Love y'all, baby. Thank you, New Orleans. Thank you, music lovers. God bless. Have a beautiful night, y'all. Thank y'all so much. Thank you. Thank you. We can do this in your living room, too. Just let us know anytime. Thank you. <laughs> uh -huh. All right, uh, that is the trumpet mic. Okay, that's what they said. Uh, hey, that's alcohol abuse. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. All right, so folks at home, those of you at home, if you have missed any of tonight's show or if you uh, – Wanted to watch any of our past shows? You are more than welcome to do that on the Funky Uncle Dot Live. Be sure and watch our Facebook page, our Instagram, subscribe to our um, uh, YouTube, our YouTube channel. Subscribe to that, and that way you'll get all of the notifications. Look at you! All right, can I get a sound guy to come and take that away from me? There you go. All right. So, coin it. Let's have a seat. Come sit on my front porch and talk to me. <laughs> Grab your mic. Got you, there we go. Wow. I forgot about this part of the show. <laughs> you forgot? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you forgot nothing, dude. All right. We got all we need right here. We got car keys and Sharpies. We got all we need up here. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> here. That was, did I get you on that one? I didn't get you on that. One. <laughs> Car keys and sharpies. We got everything we need, right? All right. So, um, wow. First of all, I have to thank you so much for being here with us tonight and and being a part of the Funky Uncle because this is something special. And um, I appreciate those of you who raised your hands and said that you had heard about it before. But if, uh, if after tonight, are you going to tell everybody you know about what we're doing? I mean, 550000 dollars that people have donated for their love of the New Orleans music culture, the culture bearers, the people that make it work. I mean, y'all can't see on the back side of these cameras, there's about five or six people scurrying around setting up lights and cameras and and everything and that's what it takes to make a show whether if you walk into the howling wolf or tipitina's or the maple leaf or or mother in law there's a lot of other people that make this happen and we're so happy that we have had that many people donate so far to to make this happen um Wow, Kermit, what a, <laughs> an incredible, what, year and a half we've been rolling on now? It's been, it's been a while. I mean, we are blessed 
first to be alive. <laughs> there we go. Amen and to that. And we're blessed to live in New Orleans and hear music at any time we want, whether it be a live stream like today or whether it be live. And thank God it's coming back it's to the city. It's coming back slowly but surely. It, yes, indeed. <laughs> and that is evidence of it right there, right there. That's what it means. Now, name one thing that you've learned to do during the uh, the pandemic that you didn't do before? Oh my God, that's a good question. I think I learned uh, roll reefer better. Yeah. <laughs> Are they uniform and, and <laughs> even now? It's a lot of sitting down doing this. But that's a good question. Uh, maybe I learned to cook better. Yeah, you know, oh my goodness, I don't know about that. You watch the Food Network and come up with ideas and <laughs> try stuff, you know? <laughs> and try, try stuff. stuff yeah. Now. How many of you came here tonight and you had seen Kermit before? How many? Let me see a uh, show of hands. Okay. So how many know uh, what was the first band that he played in? Call it out. Anybody behind the stage can't answer that. Y'all are, y'all are privileged. Y'all can't answer that. So, oh, the barbecue swinger. That was close, but not quite. So... Who gave you your first horn? That's what I want. Who handed you well, a trumpet and actually, said, um, here, kid, go play with this? My first trumpet, I grew up in the Lower Ninth Ward. And uh, my uncle, Percy Williams, trumpet player. Oh, okay. And he plays with Irma Thomas. And he has his own band, too. Uh -huh. my, mom, my mom's younger brother would come by every Saturday. Who's your funky uncle? About six, seven years old. My funky uncle, <laughs> Percy See, we Williams. All got him. And he would come by every Saturday with that beautiful, shiny trumpet and the smell of that brass when he opened that case and just put it in my hand and just gave me a few pointers. But my first trumpet came from my grandfather, Kermit Ruffins, born in 1908 in the Lower Ninth Ward. And um, the next day I joined Lawless Senior High School marching band, and it's been history since then. Who was your band director? Mr. Herman Jones, if you know yeah, him. Yeah, huh? Mr. Herman Jones. I'm going to show Mr. Jones that Mr. Herman Jones has been instrumental in, for, for a reed player, and a ba but a band director, he has been responsible for so many brass players, and, and he speaks so highly of you. <laughs> he loves you. He's told my son, you know, I taught Kermit. And I was like, yes, sir, we do. Yes, I remember sir, we a story. Do. My um, daughter's wind up going to, to the summer camp, the jazz summer camp. Mr. Jones was teaching. Project Prodigy. Yeah, mm -hmm. Project mm -hmm. Prodigy. And um, he was the piano teacher. So they had a bunch of pianos in there. They had a bunch of pianos, a bunch of kids. And he said, whatever you do, don't play the piano until I tell you to. <laughs> so one kid went <laughs> playing. Right. He said, call your mama. You stupid, your mama stupid, all y'all stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I won't show her this show. <laughs> and my kids could not stop laughing. And he came home and told me. I said, that's Mr. Jones. He's going to call you out. He is going to call oh, you he, out. He was just a piano teacher. Real beautiful person. He, he is. He, he teach with love and a lot of <laughs> insults. <laughs> now, sometimes the band directors <laughs> are the biggest uh, uh, influence on some of these kids' lives. Their folks are either non-existent, I mean, they're not involved, or they're working two and three and four jobs just to keep it going, you know, keep the family going, and it's these the band directors that have really made an impact on their life. And uh, other than Mr. Herman Jones, who was your first at Lawless, who else would you say has been a big influence on you? Well, I was blessed to um, leave the Lower Ninth Ward right about uh, maybe 18 years old. And I, um, my cousin was the principal at Clark Senior High School. Mm -hmm. Mr. Dennis Minor, my grandmother's mm -hmm. sister's son, Mr. Minor. Yeah. And um, he said, Kermit, you need to come to Clark. And I got to Clark, I joined the band, mm -hmm. and I met Phil Frazier. And me and Phil said, let's start, a, let's start a second line band. So that summer, it was known as the group. The group. So we so paraded around the city playing, 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 and then we wind up on Bourbon Street playing after teacher's Christmas party or something mm -hmm. on 
at the Marriott, and we walked down Bourbon Street for the first time in our life, first time in my life, and some guys say, play us a song. And we <laughs> played, that, and they gave us a bunch of <laughs> tips. Ooh. So we decided, hey, let's do this every day. <laughs> oh, every day. And then, of course, Louis Armstrong came into my life just playing the jukebox down at um, Lula Bells, because I was, oh. once I started the band, I was hanging out at all these beautiful bars in the Trimmy neighborhood, and they had jukebox in there. And I discovered Louis Armstrong, imagine, at 18 years old. Mm -hmm. And I just lost it. Got all the videos, and went to Tower Records, and rented all the videos, and sit there and had reefer and beer parties, and watch Louis over and over yeah, and over okay. again. Then I got this one CD entitled, one video entitled, Jump and Jive, where they had Cab Calloway, mm -hmm. Duke Ellington, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yep. Miles Davis, um, Lionel Hampton, I can't count these already, but just these about 30 different musicians, or 20, whatever, whatever, and I would, I would sit there for hours upon hours watching those videos. Picking it apart. That's my influence. <laughs> Picking it apart yeah, and learning it. it apart. Yeah, that's yeah. good, yeah. And do you have any clue how many young musicians that you have influenced as of, as of, as of now? I, I am blessed enough to know that the out. Rebirth came along yeah. and saved Brad's band in the heart of the Treme neighborhood okay. to the point where we had a bunch of brass bands, but it was Olympia, Dirty Dozen, and we were some young kids with jeans and T-shirts and a cap on and made it look cool to play brass band music instead of the brass bands with the milk caps and the white T-shirt and the tie was, wasn't attractive for the guys not for enough to kid, play. Not for a kid. Yeah. Especially, in, those days, especially yeah. in the 80s. Yeah. And then we started playing Michael Jackson and uh -huh. everything else. Just anything on the radio type thing. And um, we had that number one hit, Do What You Want, on the radio for maybe two years on, on mainstream radio, mm -hmm. which is Q93 or one of those things. And the number one song, again, is Do What You Want. I mean, every night. And we had no idea what we were doing. It's right. already playing our stuff on the radio, big deal. And then um, years later, I realized that <laughs> we were like the forefront of um, some of the best, um, s or the most important time of um, New Orleans life. Right. Um, to bring that music back to the forefront with every young kid wanting to hear it. But you never lost your foundation either. When, when, uh, when we're teaching kids, uh, and I know Mr. Jones said this to a lot of kids, is that when you're building a house, you don't build the roof first. What do you build? And it's the foundation. Mm -hmm. And that foundation is what you found yourself back to in, in with the Louis Armstrong and, and now even with all of the songs that you uh, – that you play on a regular basis, and and very I, I hear that influence in all of the songs that you write, <laughs> and um, and that is a, a really cool thing. So, uh, where do you see? Uh, just real quickly, because we're going to have to go in a minute. But where do you see? How do you see that the pandemic has affected the future? What do you see that's going to be different? That's going to stick around. Um. I would hope that um, every club has a way to live stream. I mean, because um, that was the best thing that came out of it. Mm -hmm. um, and I was thinking about doing it be even before then mm -hmm. to the point where you could pay a cover charge on a website. A subscription. And the door just yeah. opened. And yeah. the door just, and this, and this guy just, I had the dream of a um, guy just opening the slide door like this. Who is who is that? <laughs> What's the password? Yeah. And What's then, the password? And then all of a sudden you kind of walk into this club, uh -huh. and it's a band playing at the mother-in-law, whatever club mm -hmm. it may be. I um, envisioned that before the um, pandemic. So that will be the thing to do, I think, because people from all over the world can have house parties and 
Got a 78 inch TV and invite <laughs> everybody not? out and charge, come we and can charge to get the with house. The world. <laughs> share it with the world. And I always, so. always, always, um, my, uh, always, my, always thinking about good stuff to do mm -hmm. as far as, um, well, you do a lot of good things. You've fed a lot of people. <laughs> you opened your bar uh, a little earlier than most. Maybe when, uh, maybe when we the never city closed. wasn't. When may <laughs> maybe when the city wasn't exactly ready for you to, it happened. But you know what? You brought a lot of smiles to a lot of people. You brought a lot of joy. And that's what we do here at the Funky Uncle. Gotcha. And uh, <laughs> not only have we uh, taken care of over 650 plus musicians, uh, the gig workers and everybody else, and I cannot, again, I cannot thank you <laughs> no, anymore. Thank you. <laughs> what is your, you said that you, you just watched <laughs> Louis Armstrong over and over and over again. What is your favorite Louis Armstrong tune? Well, that's a good question. I think the song that really set me for the stage period when it comes down to New Orleans music and and the only true American art form mm -hmm. is when he played When You're Smiling. And then that solo. That's one of my favorites. That solo Can you play that did? solo for me? No way. Can I'm you play <laughs> your solo of that for me? No way. No. And when I tell you, when Louis did it, he took it to the upper register and I do it when my body let me do it. Ah. A lot of times I can't. Just like um, this song I love, Chuck Banjoni, Feels So Good. Yeah. Sometimes my body can do it, but most time it can't. I mean, you got to be real high and real strong. <laughs> not not right. actually. Not actually. I just like to bring up Reaper because <laughs> you really need to legalize it, Louisiana. <laughs> I'm just always bringing up Reaper. Just want to be... And I'm gonna have the first. I'm gonna have the first it's a $40 stop. Forty dollar ticket, baby. It's all it is. I'm gonna have the first dispenser. It's gonna be rough, rough and puff. Oh, I'll be your first customer, baby. All right. So, sweetheart. Got it, cootie. Got five you. I got one more thing before we get a round of applause. I need you to look <laughs> in that microphone, look into that camera. Wait, which camera? Where are we? This camera right here. And I want you to say, wash your hands and stomp your feet. Mm -hmm. Wash your hands oh, yeah. and stomp your feet. All right, look right there in that camera. All aboard. Wash your hands and stomp your feet. Yes, indeed. Y'all come back and see us. In two weeks, we'll be here at the Howlin' Wolf next week. Love this you finally could kiss people again, huh? I'm a hugger. Hi, I'm a hugger. Come here. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, everybody. Y'all be safe out there. Check out funkyuncle.live. Don't forget, it's never too late to donate. Yeah, I don't.